This is my current commuter bike, a 1988 Saracen Trekker. It's a beautiful bike and a beautiful ride, but it's missing one thing from the front that seems to be quite popular at the moment, a cargo rack. I would normally fit a rear pannier, but I've caved in and bought a Basil Portland rack. If you're looking for one in the UK, I got mine from Treads for 70 quid as a special order item, but it actually arrived really quickly. The packaging is clean and simple, mostly recyclable, and inside are all the parts needed. All the rack tubing is aluminium, and the fasteners, I'm hoping, are stainless steel. Fitting is super simple. First I removed my front reflector so I could fit the main bracket or support if you will. Then I loosely bolted on the legs. All fittings come with the washers and lock nuts. Then I popped the rack on top of the support and bolted it down. Unfortunately, I can't make full use of that support due to the classic cantilever brake, but I pushed it as far back as I could. I might be able to get another centimeter out of it if I was to reroute the cables through the rack itself. Last job is to fit the supports to the front axle, but uh oh, I have a quick release axle. Okay, so disclaimer, this rack is designed to carry 10 kilograms with a bolted axle. That 10 kilogram rating is taking in the support of the axle itself. With quick release, I'm relying on a purely friction fit around the axle, and if the rack does drop looking for support, it's going to find the tiny quick release skewer rather than a 9mm axle. The shear capacity of those are a little bit different. That being said, this is how I'm setting it up and I'm looking for a way to adapt my quick release to offer a bit more support or I'm just going to fit it to the M5 mount on the fork. And that's it. After tightening up all the bolts, it's time for a test ride.
Because it's cyclists that jump red lights. <laughs> okay, first ride review. So I'm going to try and break this down and give a bit of an honest feedback. First up, looks. Compared to a rear pannier, I have to say I actually really like the look of this rack. Loaded and unloaded. It looks clean and stylish and appears to be built well. Time will tell on that one. Ease of use and security. So fitting was super simple, no drama there. For me today, I took one of my bigger bags with me and it just so happened to be a perfect fit in the basket. The elastic strap seemed to hold down the bag fairly well, although you can see in the footage that it does bounce around a bit still on harsh bumps. The strap is easy to use. Slide the strap to the left to add slack and to the right to do it up. Extra straps may be needed for multiple smaller bags or other items though. It took me seconds to pack and unpack my bag on this rack. Things to look out for? Well first off is the axle. Again it's designed for a bolted. Um, while it does work with quick release it won't have the full 10 kilogram rating. Use quick release with a little bit of caution. Using a front rack to carry luggage will also affect the steering of the bike. The more you load the front rack, the heavier the steering will become. It'll also get a bit snappier, and by that I mean the bike might want to snap further to the left or to the right than you want during a turn as the weight shifts. It's some, just something to think about. Overall, I'm pleased with it. It has only been one ride, but I enjoyed it. For heavier loads, I'd definitely use a rear pannier rack, but for the daily commute, this front rack is pretty stylish. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button and comment your favourite racks. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one.